Imagine having only one weapon available to you in the case of zombie apocalypse. Look to your left and the first thing you see is now your weapon. For me, that is unfortunately my frying pan. Yeah, don't ask me what it was doing on my desk. Now, my goal is to survive in the streets of Louisville for 24 hours using frying pan only as means of protection. But there's a catch. The zombie population is set to insane levels, so survival is almost impossible. Can I make it? Nope. Say hello to Mr. Pan Man. Subscribe and let's find out together. Frying pans in hand. Let's uh, let's go out on the street. Let's see where we are and let's start having some fun with the Zeds. And there's a zombie or two out here in the streets. You love to see it. We need to get ourselves into a position where we have some tall fences that we can use to jump across while we fight zombies. So that's going to be one of our priorities. But otherwise, we can't say no to just one zombie coming at us. And can we get our first kill? Oh, yes, we can. Ladies and gentlemen, the first two zombies are down and now the hordes are gonna start arriving and we're gonna have some fun with them. This is most likely how our day is gonna look. Just slowly backing off and then a bit faster running away <laughs> from all the zombies that are gonna be out of here. Because we know Louisville can be pretty nasty. Louisville on insane population with a frying pan only. Well that can be even worse. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know where exactly in the way we are. I have definitely been here before. Uh, I remember these taller buildings, but where exactly this is, I... I don't know. If we can clear out a certain section and then fight there as more and more zombies arrive, that would be good. Just surviving for 24 hours would be easy if Mr. Pan Man just hid inside of a house, read a book, ate chips and slept. So how about we add an extra challenge to this? Let's see how many zombies I can put back into the ground, shall we? I'm going to set my goal at, let's say, 200 kills, maybe? All with a frying pan in 24 hours. Let's give it a try. Okay, now <laughs> this is starting to get slightly more problematic. Uh, I think it's time we ditch. Of course, we know we cannot sleep today, so we really have to we have to be careful. We have to be careful how much fatigue we gain throughout the day. But for now, we just need a bit of a safer spot. Fighting in the streets in the broad daylight was out of the question. There were way too many zombies around that could see and hear me. What I needed was a secluded corner away from prying eyes where I could safely fight them one at a time. All right, now let's do the zombies. I'm sure there's no zombies behind me. And this is all just fine. That extreme panic is not that useful right now. Also, it feels to me like I'm backing off into a place that I won't have an exit, which is probably not that smart, if I had to guess. It's a slight problem, but otherwise we're good. I think we got a crawler, let's go. Lady behind, that's fine. We're kind of hidden out here in the trees. There's more coming through the trees, so we're not really hidden. All right. Now we just calm down. I'm sure there's no other zombies around. If you could find beta blockers right now, that'd be great. We need, a, we need a watch to know exactly when it's gonna be the 24 hours. We know that we started at 9 in the morning exactly. So we know that we have to survive till 9 in the morning. Okay, this is slightly more problematic. 3 behind, 4 behind. Okay, we have incoming now. Alright, time to jump across but hey we have killed 26 now so that's pretty good right this place over here has got a tall fence maybe you can abuse that slightly i don't know if you can but i will certainly try it would be nice if you could actually deal with these four before the rest of the horde just bashes through those house walls and get to me as you can imagine it's slightly problematic trying to survive it here in this cruel world of uh Project Zomboid. While now I had tall fences around that I could just jump and lose some zombies, there were still too many around. I needed to lose them somehow. If you could actually fight some of these guys back here, this back here is a bit of a secluded area. I like it actually. 
It's not a bad place to be. It's probably gonna be impossible to fight them all and defeat them all. But you know, if if only we could deal with some, that'd be pretty great. Something like that, you know. This is this is looking decent. One at a time, boys. One at a time. There's enough frying pan for everybody. Don't you worry about that. Enough frying pan for everybody. All right, we have a moment of respite. We do not have a moment of respite. We have 38 zombies killed. You know, it's 20 past two in the afternoon. We have survived for five hours. Nothing to sneeze at. The hidden backyard turned out to be a blessing in disguise. A secluded killing ground with zombies slowly filtering in on both sides of the house. But most importantly, they spread out enough that I could easily find them a couple at a time, steadily racking up kills. It also gave me a place where I could sit down and rest for a moment at a time, conserving my strength for when I really needed it. By now, I'm sure you're all wondering what traits did I pick for Mr. Pan Man. So, he is athletic, he is strong. Two of the most important stats for this challenge. I'm also using more traits mod to stack as many points into short blunt as I can. So he's up to six right from the start with traits like thuggish, bouncer, ground worker, and provost and blunt. As well as taking specialization in weapons, which also boosts all melee skills by two points. Now, Bouncer trait also has a side effect where he automatically attempts to push a zombie away when I'm surrounded by two or more, which will come in handy here, although sometimes it does kind of ruin my aim when swinging. Another important trait is Tavern Brawler. That one makes improvised weapons such as spoons, forks, frying pans and more slightly more effective and much less likely to break which of course is important over here there's still not as good as proper weapons of course but it's it's better than nothing now on the negative side of things i just picked whatever i felt is not gonna ruin my 24 hours or my combat ability so mr panman is an alcoholic he's immunocompromised he's incomprehensive he's illiterate he's a slow worker with motion sickness and many many other terrible side effects. But as long as he lives the 24 hours, he's all good. We are already slightly hungry, which is not helping anybody. Does not appear that any of these zombies have anything of interest on them. No food at least. And they did break the barricade. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that was not good, but it was fine. I tried to close the door while letting just one of them through. That didn't quite work. All right, so now we have multiple. We didn't get bitten or scratched, which is lucky. If I pull them further this way, we're gonna be attracting the guys from the street. And I can't really have that. Wait, I think they ruined my bandana when they actually went for me there. So we lost our bandana. Yeah, I see it on the ground over here. That's that's one thing we're gonna have to recover. All right, it's time for just nice sit on the ground so we can calm down a bit. I'm gonna, gonna smoke over here. We do see there's a zombie back there somewhere. That's fine. We should really uh, get some potential bandages from all these corpses because let's be real. We're probably gonna need them. Sitting on 78 zombie kills with our relative safety back here behind this house. Relative safety, as I say, you know, we still know there's a lot of zombies up front and we have a bunch indoors as well. Oh, chocolate. Oh, yes. The house provided me with cover. It gave me a chance to rest for a moment, eat a bit, and most importantly, drink. But I knew I couldn't hide in there forever, if I were to reach my goal of 200 zombie kills. I have to go to the front of the house and face that big old group that was waiting for us, which is now over here. Hello, friends. As I said, peace was never an option. In hindsight, going back to the front porch was a bad idea. There were still too many zombies around and I should have probably jumped the fence and tried my luck on the other side. But I had no idea what was back there. Better an enemy you know than an enemy you don't. Done a lot of fighting. Uh, let's just calm down over here, sit for a second. These guys are coming, they already see in me, but you know, any uh, any second we can get of a bit more 
sitting on the ground and just chilling and you know general respite that's then then, then we're good remember how at the start i said look to your left and the first thing you see is now your zombie apocalypse weapon well i do have to admit frying pan wasn't actually on my table but tell me in the comments what did you get at this point it was starting to get late i knew it would get dark soon but i just couldn't lose the zombies that were following me maybe because i was kiting them through the same area for the last couple of hours but not knowing exactly where I was in Louisville, I stuck around these fences because they gave me just enough safety and moments of peace that I didn't need to run just yet. Not just yet. I'm just gonna have a nice cozy drink over here, fill that water bottle, enjoy our life. I don't think we have any food. Let's see how... Oh, yeah, they knew. <laughs> oh, they knew. They definitely knew. All right, well, I guess that jump wasn't far enough. And it's starting to get late at night, which means we're going to have some tiredness problems soon. Luckily, we didn't get exerted yet, which helps a lot over here. But we cannot possibly fight all of you at all. Night was here, and with it, zombie vision was reduced. I knew I got a bunch of them stuck in the houses around and they'll need a while to get to me, so I fought hard for a moment of peace. Let's go, sit on the ground and smoke. Alright, we have some newcomers. 140 zombies in 14 hours, it's like 10 per hour with a frying pan. It's midnight, we have survived into the second day, so that's good. Of course, not 24 hours yet. We still need to survive for nine more hours before that happens. And so far, we've been lucky. No scratches, just that one very near hit that took off my bandana. Fighting inside is not a good idea because you never know when they come at you in these tight corridors. It's not very good. Do you have probably one behind us? Yeah, there you go. Or there she goes. I don't know. You know, with a haircut like that. How would I know? You're a zombie. At that point, they broke through the doors and barricades, and I was on the run again, kiting them to the same streets. It was time for me to bolt, but I waited too long, and Mr. Panman started to get drowsy and moderately exerted, which not only lowered my combat ability significantly, but also made it dangerous to jump fences because I could fail at any point. We are safe for a second like for a literal second sit on the ground wait for those guys to break that zombies why do you always feel the need to break stuff all right now we might want to go let's jump don't fail good hello friends how do you do all right i can't go jumping again because i'm gonna fail that thing so i'm 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 running down this way i finally decided to abandon that street and ran into the unknown this back here if we if i can make this jump this should be some safety right now all right tired moderate exertion extreme panic but we are walking away from zombies it's really so overgrown, and because it's dark, it's almost impossible to see. Yeah, we have multiples. I'm gonna have to be ready to jump. And I think at that point, I'll take a leap of faith. I'm gonna try to jump across the fence where I can't see what's on the other side. As long as they're spreading out like this, life is good. Okay, we have another one behind. <laughs> Not very good. This is a bit crazy. We still need four hours. Don't fail me now. Good job, good job, well played. Unfortunately, I had to abandon the momentary safety of the two fences, and once again, found myself out in the open. And with the morning coming, it started to get foggy. Unfortunately, it now seems unlikely Mr. Panman will be able to reach the 200 kills before 24 hours are through. So if you are trying this challenge yourself, let me know how many kills did you get? If you want to share some of the screenshots with the community, that's even better. Jump on my Discord, there's a link in the description down below, and let's see what you've got. It's really hard to see where we're going now <laughs> because of the fog. You know what? The fog was not part of this plan. At this point, I needed to survive for less than two hours. And with how tired Mr. Panman was, 
I knew I won't be able to reach the 200 kills. So all I wanted was to find a safe spot and survive. Hey, we have a moment of respite over here. Probably, maybe. Set on the ground, I see more. I see that lady is coming. Resting slightly. All right. The pan man is back in business, boys. The pan man is back in business. We're not doing any damage to these guys. That's sad, but it is what it is. Stay down, sir. Stay down. Oh, we got one. Let's go, boys. Where are we at? Okay, we have a couple more over here. Look, if you fight like ones and twos and such, not even an issue, even if you are very tired. Three is a company, that's for sure. When you can't really hit anybody anymore, it's a problem. Can we just like kill one guy, please? That'd be so great if you could just kill one guy. We have 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes, come on. Let's just get at least 290. That's all I'm asking for, come on. Okay, we got one. Can we get another? Before the time is true, we still have just just a few more minutes. Guess we're not getting to 190. Really? In the last second, you tried to get me, buddy. They didn't get me. Ten more minutes. Come on, just give me give me one more. One more kill. This guy has taken so much damage already. They refuse to go down. It's 9 a.m. We have now survived the 24 hours. Could not get the 190th kill. But you know what? We have made it. Mr. Panman is free. The helicopter is going to come for him now. And he's going to be gone to safety. There it is, boys. We've done it. 24 hours survive with a frying pan only. And 189 zombie kills. Nothing to sneeze at. Couldn't quite reach that magical 200 in the end. But I'm happy with what Mr. Panman achieved. And now a question beckons. Which weapon should I use next? Maybe a fork? A spoon? Maybe a guitar? Or see how long I can survive blasting a shotgun in the middle of Louisville. That would be, that would be interesting. Whatever it is, let me know down below. And if you like Project Zomboid, you should totally check out my Louisville Challenge series next. <laughs>